Uh, it's great. So what got you into TikTok? Let's pick it up from there. Okay, so I started a social media and digital marketing company mm -hmm. about, well, we were officially incorporated in April, mid-April. But last year in 2020, I worked for a travel magazine before COVID. And I ran marketing there and sales. So obviously that did not survive COVID, a travel magazine. Right. So I went back and got certified on all the individual social media platforms. And I was like, if I'm going to run social media for businesses and big corporations, I need to learn every single social media platform. So I joined TikTok just to learn. And I kicked and screamed the entire time because... <laughs> I thought it was 12 year olds dancing. I swear to you, I'm like, I'm not coordinated. My husband says I don't even clap on cue at concerts. He's like, you're always like a beat off. He says I don't even clap. So when I heard the choreographed dances on TikTok, I'm like, I will, that's not my thing. That's not me. <laughs> so I kicked and screamed. I joined in January, but I just watched for three months. I learned the app. I learned how it worked. Um, I watched and got inspo and started building up um, inspo content of what I wanted to do. Earl, I'm a big planner. Like, you know, your girl's got jotted down notes over here. I'm like, I'm so typing. So I'm on TikTok. Everyone else is just having a blast. And I'm over here like taking notes on what I want to do. You, but. <laughs> you know, I really have to hire you because I'm the exact opposite, which probably explains why I only have 3,500 followers. But that's not here nor there. <laughs> that's not true, actually. I don't even, you know, sometimes I need to just throw away the pad and paper and, like, let things be. But I'm so type A and crazy. I went on just to learn. And, like I said, uh, I've always made videos like for friends, for family, for birthdays. Like I love to like compile, compile all these videos and, and give them a video after their special event. So I was always like the video girl. So I started doing recipe videos with my son and that was like, eh. so I had 17 followers until about a month ago. Wait, wait, then, wait. <laughs> so yes, one, seven, 17. You heard that right. <laughs> you had 17 followers a month ago. Yes. And I almost quit it uh, entirely. I, I almost stopped putting up content because I was like, this is just a lot of work for not a lot, a lot of results. And I was doing reels too over on Instagram to try and grow on Instagram. Yep. Because for some reason, for some people think, you know, you know uh, Instagram's more credible than TikTok. So I was trying to grow both at the same time. Instagram was helping me out. They were giving me 2,000 views, 3,000 views on my reels. And TikTok was giving me like five. <laughs> so I just kept with it. I kept going. And honestly, I stopped paying attention to the views. I would just put it up and then never check the app again. And then one day, I'm just doing my thing at home. I'm working. And my husband's calling me off the hook. And I'm like, I'm busy. What do you want? He's like, you're you're going viral with your video. It's at 700,000. And I was like, what? I'm like, I got 17 followers. He's like, you don't have 17 followers anymore. <laughs> that is crazy. You know, it's interesting you say that because it's, it's, it's crazy because it's different between each individual. Like for me on Instagram, I'm growing like wildfire. Like it's really? every time I get on there, it's like, 50 new followers, 100 new comments. Like, it's crazy. But on well, you, TikTok... You know why? It's because your girl, I've been promoting you. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the I'm I like, hey, come it. hang out with Earl and I. I appreciate that so much. No, seriously, like, sincerely... I'm just, when, I'm just kidding. No, but I could have sworn you put on there one time on your story, um, we're doing live on Monday... That helped a lot as well. Like a lot of people oh, good. got views on that. Um, but right now I have a video on Instagram and it's at 740,000 views. So that'll be my, and I think that's what's contributing to 
the followers that I'm getting. But uh, on TikTok, I think the most I've gotten was 16,000. So I haven't Don't broke worry. the code. <laughs> Um, Don't worry. Don't worry. It's honestly, it can happen. Um, I think one of your video, one of your questions was about like what video. Honestly, it, it just takes hitting once and then they come and they follow. And you know what I do enjoy about TikTok is that it, it's not a follow on follow game like Instagram is. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my gosh, she's not following me, so I'm not going to follow her. That's not how the TikTok world is. And I really appreciate that. So. Once you get there, once you, once one hits, you just buckle up, <laughs> buckle up because it just keeps going. That and is... honestly, your content is amazing. And Thank I need you. to do more duets. I need to stitch more like you do. I do admire that about you. I need to do that. So you're killing it the way you are. I wouldn't change anything. It's not broke. I mean, <laughs> um, so. What type of content you create? I obviously know, but for people who may be following me and are watching this, what type of content do you create? So, guys, I am the funny mom, um, the mom who points out the hard side of motherhood, the, the hard side of being a wife, the struggles of life in general, the struggles of um, just being busy, being, you know, being a working mom and, and handling it all. But I, I love my kids. I poke fun at them. I poke fun at living in Las Vegas. I poke fun at having Hispanic in-laws, you know, nobody is safe. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> That's what I say. All of my podcasts are unfiltered and so is my content. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. So for anybody hopping in right now, please feel free. I am here talking to the one and only Mrs. Lauren Romero. Um, we are looking at her journey through TikTok and how she amassed over 60,000 followers in a month. Literally insane. Um, <laughs> um, please hit the follow button on her side and my side as well. We greatly appreciate that because we believe in growing together. Um, also, just kind of feeding into your last answer, who is your content created for? You told us what type of content you created, but does that mean you focus primarily on, you know, moms or uh, what's your audience? Well, probably women. Um, I am in that millennial age bracket, so probably millennials. Uh, but specifically, if we really want to narrow it down, it's not Karen's. Uh, me and Karen, <laughs> we're just, we're not going to get along. So if, if you want to be, keep it real, if you're a Karen, you probably shouldn't follow me. You're probably going to be offended that I look ungrateful to have children. No special um, case. <laughs> <laughs> if you're turned on, if you're turned off by flat asses, I'm just not going to be real either because I got one of those. Believe me, they love to remind me that you shouldn't take advantage of, uh, you know, you, sh you should be grateful to have children. I am grateful to have children, but yes, it's a lot of work. Yes. So, uh, specifically, I want to normalize the struggles of being a woman and um, having the world on your shoulders and balancing it all and, and having to, you know, juggle it all and, and be a good wife, a good mom, a good there you business go. woman. And that is who my content is here for. Anyone who needs a break and a laugh and be like, oh, my God, I feel her. Let me tell you guys, <laughs> ladies, she's definitely really good at that. Obviously, <laughs> 60,000 in a month. I mean, <laughs> um, so what was that viral video that really took off for you? So I know everybody has different, you know, terms for viral and what's viral and what's not. But I would say like the first one that hit that my husband was calling me and that really took me from 17 followers to like 30,000 mm -hmm. was um, I had one where I come down the stairs after putting my son to bed and I think he's in bed and I'm like dancing around. I grab a bottle of 1942 I grab a bag of Oreos and I turn around and my son's in the doorway going like this, dancing, and he's he's not asleep. So that one, people 
really liked that one. That one made it to like 700,000. And but the, what really took me off and really went everywhere was this Mother's Day video I made where it's the things that people think we want for Mother's Day. And it's like those hand drawn cards. But it's what we really want. And it's to be left alone, to sleep, and to drink wine and eat pizza by ourselves. And that one is at like 2.4 million. And I put, it, I put it out two days before Mother's Day. And I normally, you know, I told you, Earl, I'm like, um, I am so type A that I follow all the algorithm rules. And it says like, you know, people aren't watching as much content on Friday nights because they're out partying. Well, I put that one up on a Friday night and Mother's Day was obviously on a Sunday. So I'm right. like, ugh, this isn't gonna do well, but I'll just throw it up there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 2.4 million. And um, I don't think she's on here so I can talk about it. But um, my old boss at the magazine, she called me to uh, come back to work for her and I said I started my own business I'm not going to come back and she was kind of like you know yep. like what and you know there was some comments made or whatever it may be and she was like well good luck and she got wished a happy Mother's Day in her group chat of girlfriends by someone sending my video to her saying I hope you ladies have a Mother's Day like this girl Oh, and that she, is the her, ultimate win right there. <laughs> that's that's to me is better than two point four million, right? If I had a mic, I would drop it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that is freaking and if you're awesome. On this video, I, if you're on this live, even better. You're still here supporting. Look, there's my coworker. There's my coworker right there laughing. <laughs> Yo, look guys, if you are on this live, hit the plus button on both sides. Obviously, you can see Ms. Lauren is a great time. Her TikTok's even better. Like, it is an awesome experience. Um, so go follow her, go follow her, go follow her, and support the movement. 2.4 million. I think there's something we can take away from all of that. Um, so we're going to hop right to the next question. Next question being, uh, let me see... What was the, oh, you answered that. Who inspires you the most on TikTok? Uh, um, I love Shay Mitchell. I think she's hilarious. I I like, um, I'm going to like butcher her name, probably Sarati. Yep, I've heard of Sarati. Yep. Um, and then I love the Rambling Redhead. She's really big over on Instagram, but Rambling Redhead, same thing as me. She just keeps it real. She goes on in like her pimple patches, yep. her makeup's not done, and just jumps on and does her thing with three kids. And now she has a show on HGTV. She, your question was, who would I want to duet with? She's not big on TikTok, but I would love to duet with her or Kristen Aritega. I hope I said it right. A R T E uh, A G A. She Our went table. big yeah. and she went she went viral because her kids were talking about how they were birthed out of her butthole. And <laughs> it was hilarious. You guys go follow her. She's so good. What is it? And then my my son and my niece overheard me listening to that video. So they ran around the rest of the weekend screaming, babies come from buttholes everywhere. <laughs> Earl, we're walking around the Bellagio fountains and my kids screaming, babies come from buttholes. Yo, okay. your kids, <laughs> your kids gonna make an awesome TikTok page one day. <laughs> he is the real star. If you know, I can study the algorithm all I want, but all I gotta do is put my son in a video and it, it goes viral. That so if you need help growing followers, come on out here to Vegas. I'll lend them to you for an <laughs> afternoon. Ask Ada. Ask Ada who's in her video, and she just reached, I think, 120,000 with my son in her video. What? She'll tell you in the comments in a second. Yeah. That is crazy. We're not going to talk about what he does in that video because I don't want the Karens to come for us, but you can go check no, it out. No, we can here. talk about it. I want the Karens to come. I told you, it's unfiltered in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yeah, that gives everyone a reason to go check out her page. Go check out the page. Go check out the page. I mean, you won't be disappointed. Um, but we can share it if you want, just so you know. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, if you could duet, oh, you said it would be the redhead uh, creator. Or okay. the, the Christian, I'll say her, her handle again. It's Christian with a K, K R I S T I N. And then the last name is A R T E A G A. And remember, babies come from buttholes. That was her one that went viral. <laughs> and she's hilarious. And she kind of clowns on the same stuff that I do. And she does like that filter that like makes the face really yes. like funny. And she's so good at it. And I think a girl's doing good because she's got five million and I, I just saw she moved into a nice big house. So oh you know. My God. <laughs> I need to get in your circle because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her, but you said my dream duet and that would probably be that would probably be her. So there you and go. She over. Clowned, her, her most recent video is clowning about making TikToks in the backyard and the other rich neighbors like seeing her and being like who just moved in next door who is this crazy <laughs> lady out there so, i'm gonna really tag funny. each person you mention on this video when i share it so hopefully that gets you some uh duets in the future um oh thank you so much thank you <laughs> if you could have one person uh you already answered that what is it about your following that you admire the absolute most Okay, so this kind of ties back into what I, I talked about earlier. I love that I did the Mother's Day one, and I know it's a very sensitive holiday for a lot of women who can't have children, have lost children, and right. I know it's a, it's a touchy subject. So I was very nervous to put out that I just wanted to be left alone on Mother's Day, and my mm. following came strong for me. And they said, girl, I am exhausted. I'm coming off a pandemic, I homeschooled, I worked, I was raising babies, I need a freaking break. And that's what I really loved about my following and what I admired the most. And I tried to go and write every single positive comment back. I love that my following um, is with me about normalizing the struggles of motherhood and needing a break and needing a laugh. And we do so much every day. And the fact that we can just say, why don't we just, you know, on Mother's Day, get a couple of hours off to do what we want to do. And of course, there are some trolls in there. But for the most part, I have to say, like 90% of the comments were so positive, right. so uplifting. It was women sharing openly their struggles of having coming off a very overwhelming year and not to get too deep on us, but it was really nice to see. I also appreciate that I, you know, I had to get done up tonight for you, Earl, but normally <laughs> I just shoot in a messy bun and, uh, you know, whatever tank top right, is right. on It's probably got three stains and a booger on it, but my followers <laughs> are not there. <laughs> they are not there, you know. They know I'm not going to come with, like, the fabulous outfits and the lipstick and the hair and the makeup. Um, and I love that for them. And, you know, on social media, showing a little skin always gets you more follow yep. followers. But i got to say, I managed to do it without. And um, I appreciate that about my followers. They know what they're going to get from me. And it's it's not going to be, like, a big old ass. So. Yes. Yes. That is freaking genuine. That's what I like to hear, you know. Whenever you have a, a following that's genuine, you know, will be there regardless. That's when you know. I mean, to me, even if I had five genuine followers, I would be totally fine versus 100,000, you know, some timers. So it sounds like you have a you have a genuine following and that's what makes the platform, I feel like, so much more special and so much more intimate between you and the people that, you know, interact with you on a daily basis. What's up, Ultra Fire Flashlight? <laughs> um, so for all so of you who are joining, go forward, Mrs. Lauren. Please hit the plus button, check out her content, follow her. You will be not disappointed. It is amazing. Yeah. And each one of the videos are phenomenal. Um, 
please, please, please go support the movement. Also hit the follow button on my side. I would greatly appreciate it because I want to have opportunity to collaborate with each and every one of you that are on here. Um, so get two truths and a lie. And let's You got it. Let um let us guess if we can all guess right, what the lie is. You guys have to guess, all right, in the comments. You gotta write us in and which one. So you can just put the number if you want. But number one is I have almost one hundred cousins. Number two is I'm a vegetarian. And number three is is that my son, who's three years old, has eleven passport stamps. Gee, that's the hardest two truths in a lie I've ever heard. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Those all sound like they could be the truth. <laughs> oh, um, that they could be the truth? You, what was that? You think they all are true? You said they could all be true? Possibly, yeah. I mean, there's not a single one that I would think would be like, uh, if, if I had to choose... And again, guys, I don't know. I don't know either. So, um, he does not know. Let me see. Um, let's do it one more time. Maybe if I hear it again. All right, guys. So, number one was that I have close to 100 cousins. Number two was that I'm a vegetarian. And number three was that my three-year-old son has close to, or has 11 passport stamps. Well, your husband's Hispanic, right? Yeah. So you probably have close to 100 cousins. Um... <laughs> no, no, my cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my cousin. Um... <laughs> and you're like, wait a second, how, how Mormon is she? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm it's gonna say, Amish. I'm gonna say the truth. I mean, the lie is the child with the lev with the stamps. Oh my gosh! Does anyone else want to throw in an answer before I say? So, is um, number one is I have close to a hundred cousins. Number two is that I'm a vegetarian, and number three was that my three-year-old son has 11 passport stamps and the majority of the answers coming in are number two and they're right i am not a vegetarian what i'm not so, so i'll so walk you through it your son who is three has 11 stamps yes and we took a year off traveling last year so we kind of got them all <laughs> before he was two um, so my mom is actually one of, uh, one of 12 siblings. So I have 12 aunts and, or 11 aunts and uncles. And then my mom, my mom's a twin too. Um, so like your twin girls, Wow. she's a twin with a twin sister. So she, there's 12 of them. And a lot of my cousins are, they are, um, having tons of babies too. I just so happen to only have two kids, but a lot of my cousins have five. And yes, some of them are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, <laughs> riding in buggies. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing. And you know what? They're not going to be on here on TikTok, so I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what was the second part? You said they're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, riding what? Buggies. Like are they're they, Amish. They're old. Oh. Oh. No, they're... <laughs> They're not Amish, but they're they're like very religious. So oh, you know, they're okay. not doing anything. To, they're not doing anything to stop it. But um, and then my son, we tra we we like to travel a lot. Uh, that I made a video. It it is I uh, almost it's at one point seven million on Instagram and over here on TikTok. I think it's at two point seven million, and it's me saying the souvenirs that I bring back drunk from vacation and my kids follow me um that's real stories so my son was my son was made in in paris and my daughter london so and my you son was they sorry? were made in paris and london oh i got yeah. you okay 
Earl, you want me to go into more detail? How unfiltered do you want to get? So, so okay, so the question that I have. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He's like, how do I break? <laughs> right. So you were so, traveling. Girl, a man and a woman <laughs> get married, and then that's what I was asking. I was asking about if it was with your husband, or is it like you got drunk and you were in London, and <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> yes, he was there. He was the P to the V. Okay. I got you. The there you go. The there you go. There you go. That's why I was like, how do I word this? Like, I don't want her to think that I'm saying something negative. Um, no. When you did they, this, uh, I was like. They have the both, both have the same baby daddy. I've actually been married for, this year will be 11 years. I got, I got married super young. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I know. That should have been my one of my truths, huh? Because that doesn't seem believable. But... Years. Yeah, I got married at 23 years old. And we we've known each other at Yeah. That is impressive. Yes, we support LGBTQ plus. Absolutely. I am a huge supporter. Um, so we we Met in the dorms when we were 18 years old mm -hmm. and dated throughout college and then got married right out of college. That is awesome. And here we are. That is awesome. We were 18 years old mm -hmm. and dated throughout college and then got married right out of college. That is awesome. And here we are. That is awesome. And that's even more impressive because I feel like nowadays, <laughs> I mean. What's that face? What was that? Oh, wait, are you frozen? I thought you were just making a funny face. No, no, no. I may be. It may be frozen. I shouldn't oh, be. Oh, no. Did we lose Earl? There he is. You got frozen for a minute. That's weird. Um, Is it back? Am I losing you? Oh, no. You have, like, dots over your face now. <laughs> is it back? Move around so I know. Can you hear me? I can't tell if you're frozen because you're holding still. Oh my gosh. Yes. I can't tell if you're frozen because you're holding still. Oh my gosh. Yes. What's up, Rams fan? Yep, you're there. Oh my gosh. Yes. What's up, Rams fan? Yep, you're there. There we go. Okay. What about now? You're back. Don't worry, you back. <laughs> because my thing is saying unstable connection. Am I back? Am I back? Can you hear me? Are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, you're there. I see you. <laughs> okay. So. You are back. There we go. Um, um, I can hear you. One last thing. Where's my husband? He's watching my kids. He's watching my kids. Oh, my, my husband, he's a little more private than I am. So I do not force him to be any, in any videos if he doesn't want to be. So you'll mostly mostly just see me on my TikTok. Can you hear me? They're asking where my husband's at. Oh, I got you. I got you. Um, last question I have. One last thing that you want your current and future followers to know. What would you say it is? I want them to know that... Um, consistency is what got me here. I, I, I'm just like everybody else. I started out with 17 followers for a long time and was tempted multiple times to just stop putting up videos on this platform. I didn't understand the platform. I didn't give it a fair chance, but I just kept putting things up. 
So I really want everyone to know that if this is a journey that you want to go on, and thank you so much. Um, if this is a journey that you want to go on and you want to be a public figure on TikTok or Instagram and you want to grow your social network, be consistent. Also, don't let anybody tell you that you have to stick with the same content all the time. I pivot with my followers. I started out with recipes. I started out with travel videos and I put up something for laughs and that is really what took me off to the next level. So just let your followers guide you. Let your followers tell you what they want to see and what you're good at. Because sometimes what you think you're good at, mm -hmm. we are our harshest critics. So we are always going to second guess ourselves on things. But if your followers are engaging and liking and commenting and sharing and enjoying your videos and showing you support, then keep going with that content because that is really what you're great at. Um, I also want to say that people will hate on you for videos, whether it is calling you an attention a seeker, saying you don't get attention in real life and whatever reason that you're on here doing this. But be true to yourself and keep going. And if, if I can give you any advice, I put myself out there and I announced to the world that I was gonna go for this. So I had no other choice but to go for it. So when I commit to something, I commit 100%. Earl asked me to be on a podcast and I answered him in five minutes. Absolutely, I'm there. Just tell me what time you need me. That so is 100% true. Day, <laughs> I, thank you. I want you guys to commit to something that you want to do, whether it's social media or something in your business or starting your own thing or pursuing a promotion at work, whatever it may be, commit to it. And this is your year. This is your year to just go for things and step out of your comfort zone. We came off of a really hard year. So why not make this your best year yet? Hey, Lauren, that was beautifully said. Absolutely. Look, guys, um, if you're on this live and you're tuning in, this is the one and only Mrs. Lauren Romero. That's how you say it? Yeah. Um, please go. Well, hit if the you can roll your R's and you roll your R's. <laughs> no, then you I'm black. I can't. Black people can't roll R's. Um, and I'm white. <laughs> um, no, I cannot. <laughs> Please go hit the plus button on her side and on my side. I would appreciate it. I would love to have each and every one of you on the podcast as well. Um, again, Lauren, it's been a pleasure on here. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties that never happened before. I'm not sure what the heck's going on today. Um, in Texas, we're having pretty inclement weather, so that could have something to do with it. Um, but um, I was glad that we were able to get through all, what, 12 questions um successfully so i appreciate it i do want to get with you um afterwards just to see how we can how you can help me with grow and i hope everyone else takes advantage of the pink door agency and uh really you know like she said take it to the next level commit to it and make your dreams a reality i like to say they're only a dream until you decide to wake up guys so um go do it make it happen and thank you for tuning in lauren do you have anything else that you want to put out there to the world if not totally fine oh you do go for it I have one more thing i have one more thing and he just joined but my husband is launching his very own tequila and it's going to come out in the fall and it is called telson tequila t-e-l-s-o-n if you guys want to go follow it over on instagram it is amazing and it's going to take off and I just, I'm so excited for him. I'm so proud of him and the social media is fun. It tastes great, ladies. It's a little bit on the sweeter side. So it's so women friendly and I can't wait for you guys to all be able to go find it in stores. So give us a follow on Telson Tequila over on Instagram and look out for that. It's going to be, it's going to, Oh my gosh, guys, it's going to take off like crazy. Everybody, Anything with alcohol is going to take off. Absolutely. Uh, respect to your husband. Tell him I wish him the best with that. And I w might want to get him on the podcast as well if he decides to do it. Um, I have to that. <laughs> all righty, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you again, Mrs. Lauren. And until next time, peace. Bye, guys.
Let me get the music to take us out. Yo, thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. This is Lauren Romero. Hop in and hop on the her page. Hit her with the live. Hit her with the like, the follow, the subscribe. Whatever the case may be, great people accomplishing great things. Peace and happiness, blessings.